What's up, guys? It's your boy, Seller Man Vlogs. We back in here with another one. Today, man, y'all see it in the title, no clickbait, nothing like that. The Mustang is gone, guys. I had to talk about this. I'm out here on a break from my job right now. But, uh, you know, we got to keep grinding, y'all. Got to make sure I bring y'all that content. I know it's been a little minute, um, but I'm trying to get back to my consistent ways, you know, where I'm posting a lot more um, during the week. But anyways let's talk about this guys yeah the mustang gt is gone um i know a lot of people love that car i love the car um i had some real good times with that car man been everywhere with it um all type of states all type of places man but yeah guys i know i haven't been keeping you guys updated the way that i want to lately so i apologize for that but you know we coming with these fire videos soon guys i got a lot on the way um, I already have got a new vehicle, so that's a sneak for you guys that's been wondering. But, um, yeah, man, it's just been a lot going on. You know, a little bit of stress, but at the same time, there's nothing that we can't handle. We're going to keep it positive, keep it moving, and, uh, you know, we're going to keep these videos coming for you guys. We got to get it flowing, guys, but, uh, man, I got so many surprises for y'all. I hope y'all ready for this, but, um, you know, soon it'll be a video coming, probably after this one, revealing the new ride and all that stuff. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and get back into this with the Mustang. Basically, what happened is I got in this little incident coming back from Texas Whip Fest. It was kind of late at night, you know, probably my fault. Basically, me and my boy 901 Trey, uh, he was with me. We had went to this meet in Texas before we got ready to leave and come back home to Arkansas. So, you know, it was kind of on the spot and all that, but we had a great time and all that. So, uh, no regrets on that. But at the same time, like, uh, we left out a little later than they expected. So, well, basically, we were just, you know, kind of taking our time. I was taking it easy. And uh, I think I was driving maybe like 60 miles per hour, something like that. So, definitely wasn't driving at you no know, dangerous speeds, nothing like that. Um, you know, we we're just going straight line and it just like all of a sudden guys got real windy and uh, a gust of wind just like picked me up, just scooped me up and um, it turned my car all the way around. I did a 360. Um, luckily, I didn't hit anything major, nothing like that. But, uh, you know, I had a little bit of minor problems, little scratches in the, in the wrap and all that stuff. You know, if y'all have been following what I've been doing lately, um, and y'all been really watching the videos, y'all see I wrapped the car and all that stuff recently, wasn't too long ago, and um, ended up that happened. So um, I was just kind of in a bad mood after that. Um, when it first happened, I mean, I was a little upset about it and all that, but um, you know, I got over it real easy because I understood like what was going on. I had been like for so long, guys, I had been just trying and trying to get a sign. I was like, man, should I go in here and let the Mustang go? Like, but basically guys, y'all know I'm a Mustang guy. So, you know, I really didn't want to get rid of Mustang. I had been just thinking and thinking and thinking, should I get rid of it? And um, I was just asking for a sign, man, just to know, should I do it? I was wanting something faster. I mean, of course, Y'all know, you know, whoever had been following strongly, like I say, y'all know that my Mustang was a 4.6 liter V8. It wasn't a 5.0 V8. So already, you know, I, I was kind of on the edge about getting rid of it once I had paid it off. Um, I was thinking about just trade for something a little faster because with that motor and that Mustang, I wouldn't have been able to do everything that I wanted to necessarily. So um, basically, you know, I just wanted a bigger motor, bigger everything to work with uh, so I could just have a real good project and I could, you know, race it when I want to, take it to the track. I just feel like it's going to be real good content for you guys. So since I had been thinking about that for so long and then that happened, uh, coming back from Will Fest, I was like, man, I said, I'm going to see if I can just go on and let it go. I had just paid the car off, all that um Man, I had just did a lot of stuff. I had wrapped it. Um, y'all know I had a lot of stuff on there, on that car. So if any of y'all hadn't seen the wrap, 
if you're new to the channel from this video then i want y'all to go sorry about that y'all look camera problems but anyways if you're new to the channel i want y'all to go back and uh just look at some of my past videos and you'll see my black holographic wrap that i had on the mustang it was real crazy um had just did it not long ago so like i said man i just took that as a sign felt like it was about time to let off of it um a lot of people wanted the mustang it was actually some people giving me offers and stuff uh once they figured out i had paid it off and stuff but i just didn't want to let it go right away uh, i had been thinking about it for a while i just really wanted some more power um needed something that i could build on something that would uh get to a higher capacity than what the mustang could so anyways guys yeah i just went on ahead i went up to fort smith arkansas it was a real nice dealership if y'all want to know who i dealt with just send me a dm or something like that um and follow my instagram too y'all it's king sully 870 all together it's a uh, king s-u-l-l-y 870 but anyways um yeah, I went up there to Fort Smith. They helped me out. Um, it was a smooth process. And I got another ride, y'all. So um, any of y'all that's been, like I said, up to my Instagram and all that stuff, y'all already know what's been going on. But I just haven't been able to post videos and uh, keep y'all updated on here on YouTube. So um, I will be doing that coming up soon. Y'all will know everything that's going on. But anyways, yeah, that's the story, guys. That's what happened um it was a sad time you know when it happened i was just kind of mad i was tired i was like man i put all this money into the mustang and um you know it just helped me realize though like you can do all this stuff to vehicles and all that i mean it's a fun time i had a real fun time doing it but at the same time you just realize like all that can just be taken away quick if something like a wreck was to happen so you just got to live it up and, you know, get what you want. You got to be satisfied with what you're driving, man. I feel like vehicles is just something that's a part of you. Like, it just shows your growth. Um, it shows who you are. So, I just felt like it was time for me to go on ahead and take that step up. Uh, I definitely got a keeper now. I got one that I'm going to keep. I won't be getting rid of it. Um, I know I'm going to pay this one off and probably just keep it in the garage. It'll be one that I constantly build on for a long, long time. So um, I'm happy with it, happy with the decision that I made. So y'all go on ahead, send me some DMs, comment under this video. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much this video. I just need to update you guys on everything that's been going on. Y'all know my subscribers are like family, man. I treat y'all like family. Um, I just like to keep y'all in the loop of what's going on with me i know a lot of y'all been just wondering and wondering like where the mustang been at <laughs> y'all been asking me about it and stuff so um i haven't been able to put the content up the way i wanted to and just you know make sure that y'all know every little detail but uh soon guys i will be getting y'all back in there with this new vehicle um everything that i do to it i'm gonna make sure to make videos about it and uh, i'm just gonna keep y'all all up to date the way y'all want to but man we're gonna go crazy guys it's gonna be a lot going on this new vehicle um i don't know if i'm gonna be wrapping it and all that stuff but um soon very very soon it's gonna be a lot of bolt-on motor stuff um man i don't want to tell y'all too much but just look out but yeah guys i just thank y'all so much and uh i appreciate you guys riding along with me and uh watching these videos i need you to hit that like button for me though guys if you're watching now you know it don't take but a second just to hit that like button and uh if you're new to the channel go on ahead hit the subscribe button right now and uh turn your notifications on because we got a lot of things on the way and it's about to get crazy y'all we got a whole lot going on um i will be going down to memphis so i'm announcing that now i'll be in memphis tennessee on october the 30th and 31st halloween and um on the 30th we got my boy rail to rails uh car show in memphis i think it's gonna be at a tow company or something like that so i'll try to keep y'all up to date on that uh, make sure to go follow my instagram so y'all can keep up on everything that's going on 
But yeah, I'll be going to his show first on the 30th. And on the 31st, Halloween, we got Demonology and Don't Master, man. It's going down Memphis Raceway. I will be there. Um, I'll be putting my car on the track. So if y'all know anybody I should call out, any YouTubers out there um, that you want me to race, I need y'all to go on ahead and uh, tag them or something like that. Um, or hit me up on Instagram. But yeah, guys. We got Demonology and Dunk Master doing their uh, rematch or whatever at the Memphis Raceway. So, man, I'm ready for that. That's going to be an exciting time. I know it's going to be a lot of people out there. So, man, if y'all going to be out there, it's going to be packed, guys. So, y'all better get there early. But, um, yeah, I will be there. I know it's going to be a lot of YouTubers out there having some fun. So, um, I'm ready, guys. I'm just ready for it. But, uh, anyways... To end this video, I might just go on ahead and put some clips of the Mustang from the accident that happened, uh, uh, the little damage that I had. So that way, guys, y'all will get a little bit of uh, insight on what it looked like. But anyways, I'm going to get out of here, guys. I just appreciate y'all so much for watching, and uh, I need you to hit that like button for me. I'm going to get out of here. Well, man, we out here in Texas past Mount, Mount Pleasant. I just figured I'd get this for the vlog, man. Real sad day. I just hydroplaned and went off of the highway in the Mustang. Messed up my tail lights, all that busted. I don't know, man. Now we gotta find somebody and help us, but.